Well, we start with some pretty major news. First at five, the Major League Baseball All-Star Game will return to Atlanta in 2025. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. I'm Faith Jesse and I'm Jennifer Bellamy. Now this is a huge announcement as the city was expected to host the 2021 Midsummer Classic, but Major League Baseball moved it to Colorado because of a change in Georgia's voting law. Now we have team coverage tonight. Grace King is at the battery where fans and business owners are excited about the return to Atlanta. But first, Maria Martin is joining us now in studio. Maria, this is really big. Yeah, this is great. You guys aren't you excited? I Why am not? so yeah. pumped. Yeah, bring it back. We're so lucky that it's going to be here and with the Braves they we get to watch some of the best players in baseball on a daily basis right now in 2025 we're going to get to watch the best players in the entire game on display in the Midsummer Classic. It will be the third time that the Braves host the All-Star Game the first since 2000 and the first time at Truist Park. Now the Braves they have been well represented at the All-Star Game in recent years and with the majority of the team locked up it is a trend that's sure to continue in recent years, in the next few years, I should say. Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred has high praise for the city and its fan base. Truist Park and the Battery are gems um, in terms of the facilities, and Atlanta and Georgia has been a great market, great markets for us for a very, very long time. Um, with their great fan base and rich history, Atlanta deserves an all-star game and uh, we're really looking forward to being there in 2025. I love hearing that it's a gym. That's really cool stuff. The All-Star Game is just the latest big event to come here to the A. The city will host the college football playoff championship in January of 2025, six months before the All-Star Game and a World Cup match in the summer of 2026. What a time to be a sports There's fan a in the city on. of Atlanta. How cool. I'm so excited yeah, for us. Jonathan said back to back to back uh -huh. to back. <laughs> it's always something. And, you know, issues aside, this really is going to be something to experience for families and fans in our city and our community. It's going to bring people from all over the world. It's one of the best sporting events out there and it's something for everyone to enjoy. Literally, it's a different event every day. I think everyone's going to really gravitate towards how cool this event is. Especially so with the Braves being such a regional team. Exactly. All right, so our Grace King is live from the Battery tonight, continuing our team coverage. Grace, how are people out there feeling about this new announcement? The fans here at the Battery are excited to hear that the All-Star Game is coming here. As they learned that news, they were cheering and clapping, just excited to hear that the Midsummer Classic will be here in 2025, four years after it was originally planned to come here and the MLB made the decision to move it to Denver. Now that decision was because of sweeping changes to Georgia's voting laws in 2021, like new rules for absentee ballots and a ban on volunteers giving away food and drink to voters waiting in line. Most of that law is still in place, but this time it's not stopping MLB from bringing the game to Truist Park. I don't think that was fair. It wasn't right. It wasn't just. I think to have it back in the city now is an acknowledgement, hopefully, of, of, of some of that. And um, it's awesome to see that we're finally getting our day. That's Braves fan jo Jacob Fenno. He told me he's thrilled to see the Braves and this area to show off on a national stage. Live at the Battery, Grace King, 11 Alive News. Well, not everyone is on board with this decision. The president of the Georgia NAACP just released a statement saying it's, quote, disheartening to see the return of Major League Baseball All-Star Game, given that we are still in the sweltering heat of voter suppression. He goes on to say... Georgia should not benefit from voter suppression, either politically or financially.